Okay, next gen walkthroughs. Bad cam. Presents the road to Westcliff. Another mission on your quest for Garth and getting to the spire. So you're gonna have to go to Westcliff to compete in the Crucible, and if you win the Crucible, you get to go to the spire. So that's where we're at. Storyline-wise, excellent. So you meet Hammer down in. Westcliff. The road to Westcliff. Lucian is recruiting guards from Westcliff. And uh Oh come on, yeah. Westcliff's a dump. Mm -hmm. Rulers and thugs. The only thing there is that a real pretty uh exciting stuff. The crucible. Yeah. Those who win it is are that physically tough it? and mentally. Yeah, I think we should move to emails. emails. Recruiting the winners as guards. So we didn't get many good emails for we must enter the crucible in Westcliff uh, and emerge. Fable. Boy, we had some really good ones for Call of Duty. Overflowing yeah, with good emails for Call of Duty. So we're gonna steal some from that email bag. Game. The cod wah wah bag. <laughs> Wat wah. So, hey NGW, I've been watching your videos for a long time. Could you explain why you call collectibles pieces of trash? <laughs> I think that's got to do something with the darkness guide. And uh, thanks, lots of luck. So, yes, most definitely has to do with the darkness. In the darkness, you know. Every game has like, or almost every game has collectibles. You know, fifty hidden items or two hundred pigeons you have or to Or hidden kill. packages. Or hidden packages, exactly. It's, you know. All right, is there anything like that in this game? Yeah. There, well, there's silver keys. Oh, the silver keys. Yes, but there's not like two hundred of some nonsense item that you have to search every corner for. Or I guess those gargoyles. Yeah, there's fifty a lot gargoyles. Of a bunch of keys. So in. The darkness. The collectibles. The collectibles were pieces of trash. Were literally pieces of trash. Pieces of paper in the street corners. Yeah, of, like a newspaper, like yeah. a crinkled newspaper or something. Yeah, or you know, used toilet paper. <laughs> something like that. So, ever since then, I've just called every collectible mission you know, trash collecting missions because they're just fucking stupid and boring and repetitive. And that's what they are. Like, collecting... Collectibles are trash. Yeah. Like, I don't find them fun. Anytime I do something like, you know, a guide for 50 pieces of trash or whatever, mm -hmm. I just go on game packs and print out a list. Yeah. And, you know, mark it off. I don't try to find that shit on my own. It's so boring. And some of the shit you could never know unless you, like, made the game. Oh, yeah. Like, there's some super obscure shit that it's just impossible to ever find out. Yeah. Um, so on the road to Westcliff, you come across several bandit camps. Um, everyone's pretty easy to kill at this point if you have like a nice rifle and one of the legendary weapons. Um, I recommend either donating to the light or doing the ultimate sacrifice for the Temple of Shadows. Those both end up in you getting a legendary weapon somewhat early on in the game. And they're pretty helpful, especially because they're always loaded with augments. And augments are these little gemstones you can put on your weapons if they have a slot for it that will upgrade it in a certain way. It reminds me of Diablo 2. You can put like gems or runes. You can create rune words and get like extra special powers and shit like that from like permanently putting these things in there, are, are the augments permanent in this game? Yeah. They are, so... Okay. Once you put it in a weapon, it's in that weapon, and if you sell it or whatever. Mm. But some of them are pretty awesome. Like, you can get one where you get gold, like 50 gold for every thing you kill. Wow. I bet that is a pretty quick. Yeah. You go beetle killing and... Yeah. <laughs> but it, you have to use that weapon, so it's not like you can just cast a level 5 spell and... Oh, and like... Mm. Mass execute <laughs> yeah. a bunch of beetles. That's really cool, actually. I didn't know about that. Yeah, that's a pretty cool thing to do. What other augments are there? What other good ones? Um, there's one where it like when you like hurt someone, it puts their health into your health. So oh, health leech. Yeah, so that one's Life super leech. helpful. Um, 
just like Diablo 2. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, you know, there's ones that like make you look more attractive to other people. <laughs> oh, so it affects those attractiveness statistics. Yeah. Are there ones that like affect the good and evil statistics? And oh, I'm not sure. Hmm. I haven't uh, gotten too in depth with the augment system. Because yeah. Because once I fill up my uh, my weapon, I'm like, okay, I don't care about augments anymore. Mm. And it seems like with a level five spell, you can kill almost everybody pretty quickly anyway. Yeah. So the you know fine tuning your weapons to get the most damage or whatever doesn't seem super important. Well, I think having the health leech one is awesome because like if you're charging up a level five spell, you're probably gonna get hurt while it's charging. Oh, yeah. So like you can easily get your health back just by using some melee attacks after after you do that. God, I cannot wait for Diablo 3. Yeah, I... I cannot fucking wait for Diablo 3. I never played a Diablo, so... Oh, I found my old Diablo discs the other day. Yeah? I still got the CD keys. Nice. And I heard somewhere that you can just enter your CD keys on Blizzard's website somewhere and re-download the EXE files, even if you don't have the discs. Oh, that's cool. So, little thing. I don't know, I'm thinking about getting back into it. <laughs> Wait till the summer. Wait, Wait till, till summer. Resident Evil 5 is over. Well, Blizzard is out of their goddamn mind. They are releasing a new content patch for Diablo 2. <laughs> like, I, I don't know when Diablo 2 expansion pack came out, but it, it had to have been more than, like, seven or eight years ago. Mm-hmm. And they're still releasing patches for it and resetting the ladder and like changing the balance of the game. And they publicly asked everybody who has the game to post on their forums with suggestions of things they want to see in this new patch. Huh. And, Stand and fight, you that, is that, made me, that made me want to play Diablo 2 again. A game that I've put countless hours into. And the reason I'm so fucking excited for Diablo 3 is because I know that they're going to support it forever. Mm -hmm. And I wish more companies would do that. Like, Fable 2 is a great game, but you play it for... I don't know, how many hours does it take you to beat the game and collect everything? Fable 2? Yeah. Uh, to collect everything? Maybe 30? Maybe. Maybe 30 hours? So probably like... I don't know, it's probably like... 16 to 20 for the main quest? Mm-hmm. Um, side quests. And if you're using my demon door walkthrough, that'll cut off some time. <laughs> yeah, that's true. But then a game like World of Warcraft, holy shit. You can end your life. Oh, yeah. Well, that's what Diablo 2 was like for me. I never played an MMO. I mean, that was as close to an MMO as I've ever played, but they keep updating it, and when you play online, an RPG online like that with other people, oh, fucking A. I know. It when I... It's like crack. When I met Jesse the intern, oh. <laughs> he was a huge, huge EverQuest fiend. Like, this kid would give up. I'd be like, dude, we should go skiing. And he's like, no, I'd rather sit at my computer and play EverQuest. And I'd watch it, and, like, the graphics aren't that good, and you'd, like, swing your sword, you know? And it wouldn't really animate any of the battles. I'm like, what the fuck is this? I'm like, dude, I need to get you off of it. So, yeah. I know, like, and he, the thing is, Jesse is not, a like, a gamer. He's not really that into games. Mm -hmm. But the fact that he can get into something like that just, like, shows, like, how addictive multiplayer games MMOs are. Yeah. Not that games like this aren't fun, but, I don't know, simply as a... Well, once this game is done, it's done. Right. And simply as, like, a cost comparison. Mm-hmm. Diablo 2, new, is, well, I don't know what it is now, but I'm sure Diablo 3 is going to be 50, 60 bucks when mm -hmm. it comes out. And this is the same price. Yeah. And the thing is, like, you level up your whole your character throughout this game, but at the end, you're done with the game. Mm -hmm. But no in, like, a multiplayer game, you can, like, be a badass. You can fight other people yeah. and all that kind of stuff. 